Hi everybody and welcome back to the barn build in Minecraft. This time we're going to be taking a look at adding a support structure to the bridge as well as adding a roof onto the barn. So, let's get to it. Right, so it's another glorious day here in Minecraft and today we're going to be taking a look at adding a support to the bridge. Because the way it looks now, sure, it's there. And it's, you know, it's a bridge. It goes across water. But there's nothing holding it up, which isn't very realistic. There needs to be something holding it up. Now, I'm not quite sure what I should do here for the bridge structure. I think I want to have a arch sort of thing going down into the water. And actually, that, that works. <laughs> we'll have to see if that... I, you know, building uh, in Minecraft is something that is very difficult to do while talking. It's got to be said. Uh, and sometimes I'm more descriptive of what I have in my mind. I can't, I can't explain it. Um, I can just sort of say like, oh yeah, that's a great idea that I just came up with and you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. So, it's a little harder than you would imagine, I think, to, to build. Uh, try to have it look good and do numbers in your head. Uh as well as talk, so it's a little different. But regardless, um, my idea is to have the bridge have this little cobblestone stairs set up heading into the water and then have a sort of pillar going down into the water, marking it as being, you know, it's the support that holds up the bridge. It's what keeps... It's what picks up the slack and weight that's associated with the middle of the bridge. So, we've got one side done, but we still need to add the stairs to the other. And this is awkward. Thankfully, I have uh, clear water on with Optifine, because cl clear water is something that I almost need in Minecraft. I don't like when the water is all murky and everything, so, yeah. Regardless, uh, let's go ahead and add some more of these steps. Steps are an amazing material, and I remember thinking, believe it or not, long before Minecraft uh, included the upside, upside down stairs feature, I remember asking my friend when I first started playing, can I put these stairs upside down to, uh, to like smoothen out like roofs, you know, to add this effect that you get right here so it's not like jagged block to block. And they're like, no, you can't do that. And I'm like, Minecraft should totally add that. And then very soon after that, uh, well, not really soon after that, but a little later, like maybe a year later, I think. No, not quite a year. Uh, a few months, probably. Minecraft did the upside down stairs in one of the updates. And I was like, I called it, said it should happen. Anyway, that's just a little bit of a story there. Um, the pillar needs to be a little bit thicker than just one block thick. Because then it doesn't look like, you know, it could support a bridge. At least this looks like, hey, I am, I am a pillar. I can hold a bridge up. Now, it, the way that I'm doing this now, it appears that we'll be able to have a 3x3 three three pillar, which is good. Because it's set up in a way that's not, you know, it's not 2x3. It's not you know, just one thick, it's a very good and reasonable three blocks. So that adds, it gives enough of like, hey, this is a pillar, it can hold something up. So, anyway, let's take a look at adding the last bit of steps there. And, ah, one more step here, and then I think we should be good, actually. And then we can work on the uh, underwater portion which is actually not going to be too hard to do. We'll just bring down some cobblestone like so. Uh, if you're going to be building underwater, if you're going to do anything underwater in Minecraft, um, I highly recommend Optifine and the uh, clear water option because it's useful. <laughs> it's almost a necessity if you're going to build, like if you're going to build your little underwater house or whatever, clear water is a great idea so you can, for one, see it's not just a giant blue mess. Uh, but you can also, you know, be able to see while, while you're building the, the actual thing. 
So anyway, let's look at this. Um, I think that's a good design. I mean, this center part where it's open, we need to add something there, something to give it a little bit of pop, you know, so it's not just cobblestone. We'll need to add, we might, I might add some depth actually into the pillar because it's just flat cobblestone, which is kind of dull and boring if you ask me. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the standard stone bricks um, for the inside part of these pillars, which it's underwater, so it's not a major thing. But for me, I would feel better knowing it's jo not just uniform cobblestone the entire way up. Now, let's see. I don't want to knock behind directly where the stairs are, but I think right here we could... Maybe cut inside the pillar just a little bit to add a little bit of depth. So I'm going to probably just speed up this mining footage because it's going to take a long time to do. So actually, no, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm not sure. I haven't quite uploaded the, uh, the second part yet with all the sped up footage. So I'm not sure how people like it. So for now, I'll just not speed up footage too much, especially for stuff that's honestly not going to take too long. Okay. So this right here. What can we add here that would add a little bit of depth? We can add some upside down steps. Like so. But we should probably use a different material for the steps. Um, yeah, we might want to go with... Maybe we have that nice jungle wood steps, actually. I made some steps out of each type of wood just in case something like this were to happen where I needed, where I wanted to have steps. Um, we've got jungle steps, and I think those might look good like this. Well, I don't know. I'll have to... No, you know what? I think if we're going to do anything, we shouldn't add depth. Because I'm not sure how I want the depth to look. That would be something that would take me a very long time to just sit down and have a good look at. So I think what we'll do is for now, I have several stacks of stone bricks. We'll just use stone bricks to add a little bit of depth. Like so. Not even depth. I need to stop saying depth because it's not depth that we're adding in this situation. We're adding uh, variation. Will you please mine up? Thank you. Then we'll go over here, and then we'll repeat this pattern on the other side. And I think, actually, just from what I can see right now, it looks much better. I think the entire thing needs to be stone brick. Not the steps, aside from the steps, because the steps will add that little bit of variation on the sides that is needed, because the entire bridge, looking at it, is basically cobblestone. The most predominant material used in the entire bridge is, of course, cobblestone. So we need a little bit of variation, something that's not cobblestone. The steps are fine, but just the entire overuse of cobblestone, almost. Like, cobblestone, you know, it's that big material, like... Nah, no one. Don't use cobblestone ever. Never use cobblestone when you build. If you've got an okay texture pack like mine, Spax Craft, you can use cobblestone when you build and have it look good. Because in my opinion, the cobblestone texture is not too bad. Now, don't overuse it. And if you're given the opportunity, use stone bricks over it. But still. Yes, I like it. I like that. So we'll add the same thing onto the other side, and then we'll probably have to go to sleep, take a little snooze, and then we'll get to work on the roof of the barn, which I am excited to do. I do have the image of the roof in my mind, how I want it to look, but it'll be nice to be able to see that image um, brought to life in actual blocks. Okay, so let's add the, the stone bricks in. I 
and see where this leaves us. We're actually a little low on the stone bricks, but that's not a big deal. I don't think we're going to need that much more over there on the barn. So anyway, let's go take a sleep, make it day, and uh, we'll get to work on the roof. Right, so the dawn of another fantastic day. Today we're going to be hitting up the farm, or the barn rather, and seeing how we want to set up this roof, what materials we want to use to build it, and overall how it's going to look. Now, I'm not quite 100% sure quite yet on how I want it to look. Well, I am in my mind. It's just I can't see what materials. I'm thinking uh, default oak wood planks or oak wood stairs. I think that'll look good, but we'll need a lot of them. I think I have a crafting table with me. Yeah, I took the one from over there. And uh, we'll add lighting and a bridge roof probably in the next episode because I'm not sure how I want that to go. Um, and for now, I want to focus the majority of my resource on the barn because the, the bridge is kind of a luxury, I guess. We could just swim across. Um, oh, I was supposed to plumb in a path, and I did not do such a thing. Um, we might do that at the end of this episode. We might give that a try. Um, but we need to add... What was it? We needed to add more stone bricks. That's what we needed to do. Uh, do I have any, like, dirt on me or anything? Nope. Um, oh. <laughs> Guess we'll just stack up with cobble. That's no big deal. Then we need to add... Was it one more cobble? Or uh, stone brick layer? I believe so. Now, I need to see, because this right here on the doorway, the fact that it's only three blocks higher than the doorway kind of bothers me. Although, I guess it's about three up on either side, so it should look okay. Now, for the material to build the roof out of, I actually do not have that much birch planks on me to build this extra layer at the top. I forgot about that. Well, luckily, the birch tree down here has slightly grown a little bit. So we'll be able to knock that down and get a couple more materials. So let's get those, uh, those bits of oak wood, and we'll see. Right, so I've got 42 birch wood planks. I knocked down those two little blocks at the entrance. I'll replace those with something else in the end. And we'll take a look at the fact that we are definitely not going to have enough materials. And I might have to go knock down some birch trees. Yeah, we're going to have to knock down some birch trees over in the wild. I think I've gotten most of the local birch trees actually knocked down, so... We may have to look for a little while, but that's fine. I'll be back once I've gotten a little bit more oak wood. Right, so I've gotten 52 birch wood planks now. So that should definitely be enough to finish up the rest of the roof, considering it's just these two little sections. So we'll stack up with some cobblestone. And then I guess um, this is not the end of the episode exactly, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a new format uh, just for the rest of this video and see how you guys like it. Um... And it's just for stuff that's going to take a while that would be really boring and difficult to commentate over. And also, I use the wrong material. 
I went all the way out there, got more of the material I needed, only to use the wrong material. Typical. Anyway, I'm going to try out a new format. It's a third-person format that I was able to find uh, that I can do recording off of one computer. So we'll see how it works out. It's a little resource-demanding, um, but hopefully it works out fairly well for what I've got in mind. So basically, um, I'm going to set up that here in just a second. And uh, actually, I'll stay up on the roof for this because, of course, I have to build the roof, which is what you're seeing sped up. And um, I'll be back in just a couple minutes, guys. Right, so it was now time to work on the design for the roof. Now, what I did was two outside of the entranceway. I built up using spruce wood and got a central beam where the two points will meet. Now, I used oak wood steps. Uh, upside down and right side up, continuing the pattern to get this nice jagged roof. And then I built up a little bit more using the spruce because I didn't quite build up high enough. Now as we fall and take fall damage to get to the other side, uh, we continue up with the exact same pattern using oak, right side up and upside down steps. Until they converge in this one point where they meet up with the wall. And then from there we built up a little bit and then we added a third central peak. Uh, to the center of the barn so we can have a like an attic storage room up at the top So so getting to the other side I built out using birch wood uh, birch wood planks and then used uh, oak steps to continue the pattern of the roof and Try to get as much of the peak done as I can now this side of the peak, we do manage to actually fill up to the max. We get all of the steps made, and this uh, side of the top peak is officially done. So that's great. We head over to the other side, and we place down upside-down oak steps, and then use spruce wood to build out the side a little bit to start placing the other steps, but we don't quite have enough materials to finish this side of the roof. And with that, this episode of The Barn Build has ended. Thank you all so very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, and I'll see you all in the next one, where we'll probably finish up the roof and work a little bit on the bridge and perhaps look at some of the interior design of the barn. Bye, guys.